All right, here we have a closer look at their Vapor Resso bar. Look at this thing. So a couple of quick specs on this thing. It is 110 millimeters tall and it is 13 millimeters wide and 13 millimeters deep. It does have a 350 milliamp hour battery. It does only do 13 watts. So the power on this thing is only 13 watts. You cannot adjust it. It is air activated, meaning there is no buttons for this thing. You simply just pop the pot in and then you vape on it or you breathe in and this thing will auto fire and it heats up and you get that vapors. A quick look around the battery section. So down the front here is your LED. This light will show you, it will come on when you vape and also will show you the battery level. Uh, it indicates some other safety features as well, depending on the flashes. Uh, as you turn it around, you can see these slots up the top here. This is your airflow. So the airflow only comes in on one side and that is for a particular reason. It is a feature that aligns with the pod. And then there's nothing really here except down the bottom, you do have a USB-C charging port. All right, let's look around the outside. Let's take a look at this pod. Nice little click and she comes open, but this is the pod itself. This is a 1.20 mesh coil head in here and it does take 1.2 mils of liquid. This here is the grommet. This is how you fill it up. You simply just stick your nail underneath, pop it open, and you can see the fill port. Pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Now the cool thing about this is you'll see that there's some grooves down the side and these grooves are slightly different depending on which side. So the larger groove, you'll see this little, see this little symbol down here with the four little waves in it? Well, that is the most open airflow. Then as you spin it around, you get three, and you can see that the slot for the airflow is slightly reduced. Then you get to two, so the airflow is cut down even more and then you get to one where the airflow is really restricted. I have found that three is the perfect vape for me. Underneath the coil is your little connector, very straightforward. So this is a just a replacement pod. Once the coil is burnt out, you simply remove this, chuck it out and put a new pod in there. Very easy to, uh, to install the coil. Once you found your perfect vape, so for me, the three setting, and I just line that up with the airflow like so, you've got these little uh, notches on the battery and that clicks the pod inside the battery section. And that's, that's pretty much it. That's a uh, look around the Vapor SO bar. That's how simple this thing is. Absolutely brilliant. All right, let's take a look at that packaging. <laughs> This is the packaging that the Vaporesso bar comes in. This little window here will indicate uh, the color. It will show your device. Uh, down here, you've got some of the features, uh, really lightweight, uh, USB-C, great flavorful, and some other stuff. This is the back of the box, usual back of the box bullshit. Have a pause, check it out if you want to read more. Let's get into it. So inside this packaging, you do 